So, hi, my name's Arthur. I'm a fourth year aerospace engineering student and I'm going to tell you a little bit about the first two modules that you'll study here at Swansea University. So first off, uh, engineering analysis. These are the two modules, engineering analysis one and two. Uh, in the first term, you'll study uh, math advanced mathematics, uh, differential equations and stuff like that. Um, it will be very much like what you've experienced at a level so far. Then in Engineering Analysis 2, you'll take it a little bit further and go on to study things um, in a bit more depth. If you haven't come across complex numbers, you'll go over things like that. And um, you'll set the, the basis for the mathematics you'll use for the rest of the course. Um, you've also got modules like Strength of Materials. So uh, that's a bit closer to physics if you've done that at A level but you study static beams, how they can be fixed, deflection, bending, and all sorts of internal forces that structures have. So that will come in very handy for later on when you do structural analysis uh, later in the course. Uh, you will also study fluid mechanics and thermodynamics. Uh, the two are quite closely related. Fluid mechanics obviously uh, is more fluids, so you will uh, look into pressure, uh, heads on manometers and different ways of measuring pressure. It involves an introduction to the methods used by engineers uh, for the analysis of basic problems. And then in thermodynamics you go into more detail about heat flow and conduction. Again you might have covered that uh, briefly in physics but you'll cover it in a lot more detail and it's an incredibly vital part of engineering especially when it comes to heat engines, cycles, processes and things like that. Another, another module we'll study is design and laboratory classes. So that will give you an introduction into design. You'll get to use software like SolidWorks. If you haven't used any CAD software before, don't worry, you'll be given plenty of training. Um, using that software you'll get to design parts. Uh, as part of the laboratory sessions you'll get demonstrators to help you along with that as well. You'll also learn a lot about engineering drawings, which is essential for an engineer to understand and convey what a design is supposed to do. Another similar module is Engineering Design 1. Uh, again, you'll cover a lot of the same stuff from uh, design laboratory classes, but there'll be less practical content. So uh, a lot of it will be in labs, but you will also be designing parts and creating engineering drawings using the information you've already learned it earlier in the year. Uh, engineering Mechanics is one of the other modules, very similar to Structural, structural Mechanics uh, and Strength Materials. So this module is very, very uh, similar to M1 if you studied that at A-level Maths. You also study a little bit in Physics. Um, so in this module you'll look at the mechanics of systems, again it will be beams, uh, moments and the basic principles behind structures. We will also study introduction to materials engineering. So the, the basis of that module is to give you an idea of how materials behave under different stresses. Uh, you'll look a lot at stress strain curves and uh, also atomic packing factors. You may have covered that in chemistry at A level. So it looks more at how would you decide what is the most appropriate material given a certain situation? An introduction to aerospace engineering. So introduction to aerospace engineering is one of the most uh, interesting modules you'll study in your first year. So you will cover a lot of things you will have never studied before. It's taught by our module coordinator Dr. Croft. Um, it's a fascinating topic, especially if you've chosen to do aerospace engineering you'll find it very interesting. So mostly what's covered is the fundamentals of lift and the different theories behind that, uh, the basic principles of propulsion, drag and the other forces that aircraft experience during flight. You also study problem solving for en aerospace engineers. So problem solving is one of the most fundamental characteristics of what makes a good engineer. Uh, in this module you'll cover the different techniques of how to solve problems, how to go about it and what to do with the information once you solve the problem. So uh, it's a very helpful module that you'll definitely 
I put into good use throughout the rest of your degree. So, engineering skills for aerospace engineers. Um, this is a module where you'll take classes and you'll do some laboratory sessions uh, forming the basis of what makes a good engineer. So you use programs like Excel and there's one task where you have to uh, take post uh, do some post-processing on some information the data that was gathered on an actual test on the Bloodhound SSC car. Um, now the Bloodhound LSR. Uh, if you don't know more, go check it out. It's a, it's a great project that we do at Swansea. Um, you'll also study things like what, what makes a good engineer, not from a technical perspective, but more along the lines of ethics and what makes a responsible engineer. As an engineer, you'll be put in a position where if you make a wrong calculation, the consequences could be quite severe. So you need to look at the ethics behind that and it sets the basis for making a good engineer within your career. Uh, as part of the course, in your first year, you can expect a timetable of around 25, maybe slightly more contact hours. That will include lectures and laboratory sessions. Uh, it's quite a lot of work but it sets the, the groundwork for the rest of your degree, so it's very important to do. As far as additional work goes in your own time, officially you are expected to do around 10 hours of study in total for each module per week. So if you already have lectures and laboratory sessions, those are included in that, and you will be expected to do your own personal study on top of that.